Hello, everybody. I'm Dear Myrtle, your friend in genealogy. I wanted to talk with you about two new punches I got. This one will make tabs, like tab dividers in a notebook. And this one will do hole punch reinforcement. And <clears throat> a lot of times we're doing pull tabs, and they may or may not come with a reinforcing circle, which really finishes it off so nicely. And even so, you notice how white this is compared to the creamy color of the background of the companion fabric. So what I could do, since I was going to age this anyway, and I'm going to use a blending tool because I can do a circle better, I can still get the edges. See how much better I can get that circle than I have been doing. All right, let's get some more. It's the blending tools really used to take a whole lot of ink and spread it here and then spread it over there. I've been watching to see how people use this. I thought this was all I would need, uh, but I really do like this one uh, for doing the edges perfectly, uh, however we've managed. Okay, so one solution, of course, is to ignore that there's no reinforcing circle to antique it so that it goes better, well, okay, guy, <laughs> so that it goes better with your design. Um, or the third option is to get this hole punch. And I think this is, we are, oh, golly, I can't even see who it is that made it. Oh, darn. Could be Martha Stewart with that light color turquoise. Anyway, I punched a hole. And you'll see that the hole itself is slightly, or the reinforcer, is slightly smaller than the one I have on this card. So bear that in mind. If you, were, if you had a card that you were using for a tag and you wanted to insert that, um, you would use a regular hole punch and then this would be just fine. I'm not going to put this on top. I just wanted you to compare and contrast. Let's compare and contrast it with some of the others that I have. I have these from Mako. Okie dokie. And we'll put it right on top of it. And see, it's still like an eighth of an inch or less smaller than the reinforcements, um, the, the self-adhesive ones. Now the problem with these is that they're shiny and you have to antique them for the kind of work that I do. If it was just a matte finish, I'd be happy with it. Then I have these, which I thought would be cute. They're actually little donuts with sprinkles on them. I'll have to use these for Mr. Merck, see if I can open it. Dang, here we go. And I'm going to compare it with these. Apparently, there's no universal size. Let's put it on that white one. It's very obvious. Again, it's about an eighth of an inch all the way around smaller. But the hole itself is the same size on all of these. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, I don't think any of those go with this design set. But anyway, that's this hole punch. And I like it. I'm kind of glad because I'm getting kind of crazy about doing all this paper crafting and I really want things to mix and match nicely. I'm going to leave it antiqued and I will put some, um, I think this time I'm going to put a little thing of uh, ribbon coming out because I have some about the, that color cream. Okay, now I said I was making a little notebook here. Um, and it's still a little bit damp, but I took some more of that coffee stained paper. I designed a title page for it, but I haven't sewn the signature in because I'm probably going to put a couple more signatures or each one of these batches of papers are hand sewn into the binding. And I'm purposely making this just a rolling binder. Uh, to be interesting and different from what I have been doing. Eventually this will dry clear. Uh, I use the um, my fabric tack to get this fabric on. 
I like the stringy parts that are left. And this is paper that I've torn. And so this is a small little three, uh, well, three by five card that came in that packet of coffee stain paper I ordered. Okay, so the tab cutter comes up with a little item like this. My rings always twist around, do yours. Okay, and you just can cut it from the same companion fabric um, paper. It may have two sides to it. It may be the same on both sides. Um, this is fairly thick. When you see it printed on both sides, that paper tends to be thicker. But this is what it looks like. I've already put in three tabs in just this one signature so that we can quickly get to this page or the next page. All right. Not the next page, but that section of the book. And this will be nice once I have this done. Um, I've tried cutting these out. I have templates from uh, Genevieve Design, whom I love. Um, but that's really tedious to do it. It's easier to just go punch, punch, punch. Um, and it reminds you what the design is on the top. I'm happy with it. Um, by the way, just to get the color on this creamy colored blossom, I use one of my um, Copic. Um, these are very good markers, art markers. There's a fine point and there's a brush point. And I ordered these online in a set probably three years ago. It's still good, but of course I put the lids on tightly. I was also very careful to get some flesh toned colors. Um, and I like the selection of them. I don't know if you can see that. I keep them in this so I don't mix them up with the others. That copper's really pretty. Um, and I tend to use it for other things. Uh, but to call this skin white and uh, yeah, well, there's dark suntan, light suntan, and the little blush, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying not to be prejudiced against their color names, but I digress. So anyway, that's what we can accomplish with these two new, new punches that I got. Um, there was a Memorial Day sale. All of these were 40% off over at um, Hobby Lobby, so I was really happy. I've been wanting both of them. But as I said, I only buy things when they're on sale. Temporarily, I'm using this little clip to hold this together until I finish this project. Oh, I'm always working on different projects. I wish I could show everything to you, but I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. Anyway, um, I see this as having more pages for telling a lengthy story. Uh, we could fold up a page and use that as a pocket or put some other decorative paper on there to tuck a lot of family photos and things in. The fact that the coffee paper is so irregular, it's kind of crunchy. Um, yeah, it, it's intriguing and would lend itself well to writing a good mystery or telling the story of the family. Um, as you see fit, this could be dad's side, mom's side, you know, my side of the story. Uncle Mike's side, my brother's side, we'll put at the back. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Anyway, nothing left to say, but I'm Dear Myrtle, your friend in genealogy. Happy family tree climbing, everyone. That's a wrap. <laughs>